Right, first of all, a bit of an apology. This review isn't gonna be up to my usual standard. I'm not gonna be able to do an unboxing or an installation sequence for this video because the product that I'm looking at today, to be quite honest, when I got it, it didn't occur to me that it may be of interest to motorcyclists. In fact, I didn't even want to buy it. It was something that I was forced into buying by circumstances. A necessary evil, if you like. I'll try to explain. Now, I've always been respectful of my neighbours. I try to be friendly even when I don't feel like it. Helpful where I can. I keep myself to myself and I don't bother anyone. But unfortunately, we can't choose our neighbours. Now, four or five years ago, I had a new neighbour move in, a guy on his own. And right from the word go, it was obvious that there was something not quite right with him. Something was a bit off. But live and let live, myself and my partner just got on with our lives, tried to keep out of his way, but as usual, didn't give him any cause for complaint. Now, sporadically here and there, we'd have one or two problems with him. Our car was damaged twice, either by him or by his visitors, because his parking space is directly next to ours. We didn't get anywhere with it when we approached him about the damage. We ended up having to either claim through the insurance or pay for it ourselves, and it came to quite a lot of money. And on the second occasion, the insurance company advised us to put CCTV up. But I didn't want to. I don't like CCTV. It's expensive, it's difficult to install, and I just didn't want it. Now, a couple of years ago, I started this YouTube channel, which required that once or twice a week I needed to go out onto my drive or into my garden with my video camera to video products or video my bike or whatever it was that I happened to be doing that week. And this neighbour made it quite apparent that he didn't like that. I know that he spoke to the police about it because they told me he had and he was advised that I was doing nothing illegal. And I also know that he reported it to the council who told him the same thing. And because he didn't like it, there started a campaign of attempted harassment, generally making a nuisance of himself and at times even involving his extended family. Now, I've no idea what is at the root of this guy's behaviour, though I expect that the demon drink has a lot to do with it. And as time went on, eventually, the police got involved. Not just once, but several times. And each time, I was told that I needed to put some sort of CCTV system in operation, but I didn't want to because I don't like CCTV. I don't want the hassle of buying it, I don't want the hassle of installing it, and I don't want the hassle of maintaining it. So I resisted. Now, in among all this, my partner also reported to me that she thought we had a peeping Tom. There were a few occasions where out of the corner of her eye she'd seen movement in the window and that she thought someone was watching her at night time when she was in the kitchen. Now I thought this was just wishful thinking on her part but we did report it and once again we were told we needed to have a CCTV system fitted. So as a sort of a halfway house I pushed one of my action cameras into service, set it up on a small tripod through one of the upstairs windows to see what was going on while we were in bed at night or you know when we were just going about our business during the hours of darkness. Now to be quite honest, nothing really prepared me for what we actually discovered. And within a few short days, multiple clips of video were captured of this guy's rather bizarre behavior and also the peeping tom mystery was solved now even one of the police officers that viewed this footage said that she found some of it quite disturbing now the action camera had done its job but it wasn't ideal for this use and i came up with the idea that what i really needed was a cctv system fitting now initially I budgeted about £300 because what I expected, as you probably would, was several cameras, some sort of hard drive for recording the footage and then miles and miles of spaghetti-like cable to be routed all over the house in order to make the whole damn thing work. But technology is our friend and things have changed. Now, I did quite a bit of research and one particular type of product came to my attention, an IP security camera. 
And one model in particular seemed to be at the top of everyone's list. And that's the SV3C range of IP cameras. Now they do have the ability to record, but they're also Wi-Fi enabled. So I bought a couple of examples from Amazon for the princely sum of £39 each and put them up. Now within a couple of days, it became blatantly apparent to me just how useful these potentially are for motorcycle owners. An interesting fact is that motorcycle theft is increasing to the tune of about 2% year on year and has been doing for nearly a decade. And I'm sure just about everyone watching this video has either had a motorcycle stolen or an attempted theft of that motorcycle at some stage in the life, or the know someone else who has. Yes, I'm sure all of you lock the bike up via its steering lock when you leave it unattended. Yes, I'm sure most of you keep it in a garage or a shed. Some of you probably have an additional chain lock on the bike. You maybe even anchor it to the floor in your garage or your shed. But how many of you actually have the bike under 24 hour CCTV surveillance while it's not been used? Now, after a few days of running these cameras and familiarizing myself with the capabilities, I've got to say I was wowed by the peace of mind and the additional security that these provide, not just for your home, but for your motorcycle as well. Understandably, motorcycle thieves don't like to be seen, and they like it even less when there's a camera recording every move they make while they're trying to make off with your pride and joy. It's reported that CCTV is a huge deterrent for thieves. And at this sort of money, I've got to wonder why I didn't get one sooner. These cameras are IP66 rated. And what that basically means is that they can withstand just about anything the weather can throw at them. They're predominantly made from cast aluminium. That's both the casing and the bracket system that comes with it to attach it to the wall or whatever it is you're attaching it to. They are mains operated, but they come with a three meter cable to enable you to plug it into a suitable power source inside your house. Now that does limit where you can actually install these, but I had a look online and again on Amazon, you can get a five meter extension cable for less than four pounds. Now they have three versions. They have a 720 resolution version, a 960, which is the one that I got, and a 1080p version. Now the 720 and the 960 versions are more or less the same price. There's only about a pound in it. And as far as I can tell, all three versions share the same CMOS sensor. Now information on these sensors is a little bit conflicting. As far as I can tell, it's somewhere between one and three megapixels, which isn't a lot by today's standards. So I have to question whether it is worth paying the £59 for the 1080p version. You're also likely to run into data storage problems with the 1080p version. All these cameras run on a micro SD card, which fits inside the camera. Now at first I didn't like the idea of this, but installing the card is quite a long involved job that requires basically disassembling the whole camera and likewise taking the card out is the same. So I don't think you need to worry too much about Billy Bite Burglar nicking the card out of its cover his tracks. And I would suggest in any case that you mount the camera way high up so that it's out of his reach. Now, again, information conflicts. I fitted a 64 gigabyte card in mine, which is what the packaging said it would accept. But I've also seen on Amazon that they recommend it can take up to a 128 gigabyte card. So we'll just have to put that down to the usual Chinese marketing. Now, having run them for a week, I can predict that this will hold approximately two weeks of 24 seven recording, which is a similar capability to some of the hard drive focused systems. So that's not bad at all. Now, once the card is full, the camera will simply continue to overwrite onto the older footage. So there's no need to remove the actual card itself to reformat it or delete things. And I'll come onto that a little bit later on. Now the manufacturers recommend that you go to the Google store 
and download a free app called Cam High. Once this is installed on your phone, you have the capability to do lots of things with this camera that I wouldn't have thought was possible five years ago. Now, as I've said, these are IP cameras. They're Wi-Fi enabled, which means you can add them onto your Wi-Fi network at home. Now, obviously, this is dependent on you getting a decent Wi-Fi signal from the router to your camera, depending on where you've situated it. So you do have to bear that in mind when you're installing it. Now with your app installed on your phone, these cameras suddenly become a wonderful thing. I'm not going to go through all the features in any great detail, but suffice to say, if you can operate a mobile phone, you can operate these cameras without any hassle. The camera has a very good motion detection system, and you have the ability to set up specific zones where you want it to be activated, and also the sensitivity of those zones to try and dial out any false activations. Now, a simple flick of a switch on your app means that these cameras will notify you whenever there's an activation of the camera, whether you're at home or on the other side of the world, providing, of course, you have internet access. You then have the ability to play back a 15 second recording of that motion activation so that you can ascertain whether there's a problem at home or not. You can also, from anywhere in the world, providing you have an internet connection, log onto your cameras and view in real time what is currently going on at home. Now this gives you enormous peace of mind because it doesn't matter where you are, you can always check up and make sure that your bike in your garage is safe. I found the best way of running this was to allow the cameras to run 24 seven. An activation will generate a new 15 second sort of event recording so you don't need to go through your entire 24 hours of footage if you want to check on something you can simply go to the tagged events which are an indication that there was some motion in front of the camera at that time this is very valuable because it means you can save an awful lot of time when actually looking for a particular incident. If you do find an important recording, you can quickly, again, from anywhere in the world, download that entire recording onto your phone and keep it safe. Now, both this app and the camera also have the ability to send you alerts by email, but I have to admit, I've not been able to get that to work as yet. I would describe the picture quality as adequate. Obviously, it's not full video camera quality, but it doesn't need to be. It just needs to be good enough so that you can recognize faces and perhaps registration numbers. You do have the ability to alter the definition of video recorded, but I would tend to go for the lowest setting you can get away with in order to save storage space. The cameras have full night vision capability and this is facilitated by six infrared LEDs mounted around the lens. These give a faint glow during the hours of darkness, which is a good indication and a warning to anyone around that they are being recorded. The night vision is of course in black and white, but it is really clean and crisp. And I would add that the motion detection does seem to be a little bit more sensitive during the hours of darkness. On the whole, I've got to say, this has got to be a serious consideration for any bike owner. You can only do so much to protect your bike, and I'm sure we all do everything we can. But one or more of these cameras strategically set up will enable you to keep an eye on what's going on around your garage or your bike, as well as provide security for your home. And I personally found the, the price of these cameras for the usability and peace of mind that they provide to be quite astounding. Now I will leave a link to Amazon in the video description down below for these cameras if you wanted to have a look. I hope you've enjoyed this video and that you've found it useful. If you have enjoyed it, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. I will of course be back next week, so until then, ride safely and I'll see you soon.